Hey guys, this is Ashwin here. In this video, we are going to solve the problem Ice Cream Parlor. Two friends like to pool their money and go to the ice cream parlor. They always choose two distinct flavors and they spend all of their money. Given a list of prices for the flavors of ice cream, select the two that will cost all the money they have. So we have to select uh, two ice cream that will uh, cost all the money they have. So after pooling the money, uh, the amount is 6 that is represented by M and this is the cost of the ice cream. So for here, uh, if we select 1 and 5 means the total is 6. So we will be selecting 1 and 5 and the index are 1 and 4. This is a 1 based indexing. So we have to increment the index by 1. Usually we will process it by uh, 0 based indexing. So you have to be careful about that when you are uh, returning the result. And uh, here also they have mentioned the returns. So returns is uh, we have to return the array with uh, two elements. That is the ice creams uh, the friends gonna buy. So that will be the answer. And they have mentioned the format. Let's see the constraint. So we have uh, 50 test cases maximum and uh, n and m can be 10 to the power of 4. Still uh, we can able to process it uh, very quickly. And this is an easy problem only. Now for the sample input, we have two test cases and uh, here uh, m is 4 and uh, number of elements is 5. So 4 means uh, we have to choose 1 and 3. That is 1 and uh, 4 based on the index. And uh, in the second uh, example, we have total amount as 4. So we can able to see 2, 2 is there. So the total is 4 and we can able to uh, return the index 1 and 2. So this is the explanation what I have given now. Let's dive into the code now. I will explain the logic uh, while I am uh, solving this problem. So first I will just uh, initialize n because sometimes people are confusing uh, because uh, in the bottom itself we have n but people are not uh, seeing uh, the main function. So we can also define it here or else you can able to directly use it uh, later. And after that we have to have the result that is a list. We will be having two elements in the list. And after that uh, we have to have a total sum. So I will say yes. So based on that uh, we will update the values. Now we will go for the main logic. So how the logic works is. First, I will choose uh, one element uh, from the reverse and uh, after that I will iterate until that point. So if both of them satisfies the condition that is equal to the amount means I will just update the sum here and uh, update the result also. Let's see that now for i in range of n minus 1 comma 0 and uh, we will decrement by minus 1 so it will uh, traverse in reverse and after that we have to check for the condition if array of i less than m why i am doing this is we have to select the element less than m because we have to select two elements that the total sum is m if this doesn't satisfy the condition means array of i is uh, equal to or greater than m so that's why I am placing this condition to save some time for us. And after that for j in range of we will traverse up to i. So we don't have to traverse all the elements. Now we will use a temporary variable equals temp equals array of i plus array of j. So this is the sum of two elements. Now we have to check for the condition if temp equal to m we will update the result as j plus 1 and i plus 1 so i think this yes won't be necessary i think this would uh, solve the problem if the temp is equal to m means i will just updating the index so why I am using j plus 1 is 
so i will be traversing from reverse j will be traversing from the start so we have to uh, take care of that and finally we can break this loop and return the result so before running the code uh, let's go through the problem once again so i'm just initializing the result i'm traversing from the end to the start so that is represented by i and if the array element is less than m only it will enter into the inner loop so in j i'm just starting from the beginning and uh, it will go up to i so in this case uh, initially i represents uh, the last uh, index 2 and uh, from the start it will just uh, keep on checking for the condition so let's trace this uh, with an example so i will say i will use uh, this as an example now let's mention hi so here i will be there and also so here i will be there and it will uh, satisfy the condition and it will check with j so it will uh, add uh, 2 plus 3 and uh, 2 plus 3 4 plus 3 so nothing is satisfies the condition and uh, i will be moved to 4 so it is moved to 4 now it won't enter this condition itself because it not satisfies and again i will move to 2 and uh, j is uh, this 2 so if i add both of these elements means it will equal to m so i will just update this result and break the loop you can also break the loop uh, in the outside also uh, it doesn't matter anyway it will solve the problem and uh, finally we will send the result and you can already see i'm just uh, updating the index by one because it is a one based indexing and also here also with this example you can able to see j is coming first and i is coming second so that's it guys and that's the logic of this problem let's run the code now it passed the sample test case let's submit it that's it guys uh, we have solved the problem successfully if this video is helpful to you hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe the channel for more videos. Stay tuned for the next video.